hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create your own conversational bot powered by chat gpt and we are going to be using three things three different python libraries one is scrapy for crawling the websites and then we are going to use langchain and opening as api obviously um the content that i'm going to show today you can use it also for a bunch of documents if you want or a single document so there are multiple different use cases you can apply them wherever you want so let's get started so the first step is to create a crawler and that can be done in many different ways here in this video we will be using scrapy because i find it the easiest to use um so let's go to our project and uh, here we can start a terminal. Um, and what we can do is we can create a scrapey crawler. So scrapey start project and let's call it HF crawl. So what I'm going to do is I'm crawling some pages from Hugging Faces documentation for diffusers because that's uh, something which is not available in ChatGPT. Just, uh, just to show like this thing works and it has created the project. So I'll go to CD HF crawl and then I will generate the spider. Scrapy gen spider and call it Hugging Face hugging face dot co okay so now it has generated me a bunch of files you don't have to know about everything at once um, so now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this a little bit doc diffusers slash index so my crawler starts from this this website um, the next thing i do is I go to ChatGPT and ask it to write a parser for me. So ChatGPT did a very decent job. I'm not going to make uh, many changes in what it did. Um, it, it is using HTML to text as a convert. So I told him to told it to like ignore links, ignore images, convert uh, HTML to text, and I told it to store um, all the output data, output text files inside a folder called output so that makes my job a little bit easier here um, and uh, so that's the init part and the next part the parser itself was also written by ChatGPT. so let me copy paste the parser for you and then i can explain it uh, to you and one more import that I'm forgetting is the urllib.parse url join. Okay, so now I have the parser which gets a response and uh, we send that response to the converter which converts um, text, uh, converts HTML into text data uh, given a few things there but we can also use our own custom function it's not very difficult to do that or we can use beautiful soup which is also a very nice library to handle these kind of things and then i have added a special thing called end of text because this token appears sometimes in hugging face documentation and it is a reserved token for open ai's gpt so i just added it like we just remove it for now we strip the text and then I get the URL, I convert the URL to uh, some hash value just to save it. You can use random values or you can also save a dictionary with the hash and the URL to know which document, uh, which URL does uh, the answer come from. And then we write it uh, as a text file. So here I've added one more check. So we get all the links in the given page that we are on. Uh, and I've added check that the link must start with slash docs slash diffusers because that's what we are interested in. Uh, if you are interested in crawling all the websites, just remove this if and uh, it will crawl everything and you might want to change the start URLs and allow domains. So once this is done, you can start crawling. So to crawl, you can just write scrapey um, crawl 
hugging face. And you must be inside the HF crawl folder that was the project name that was created. So once we start crawling, okay, it's uh, doing its crawling thing and make sure you um, obey robots.txt and don't crawl too fast. Otherwise you might get blocked by some websites. Okay, so uh, it went quite fast. The crawling is done. Maybe it's because only uh, we only uh, uh, crawled the diffusers documentation. If we include all the documentations and the whole website is going to take a few hours. So now the next task is to create an index. And for that, we are going to use Langchain. And here's where the fun begins. So we start by creating a new file called index.py. And I've kept the reference, so I can always look at the reference and write the code for you. Uh, and we will be using Langchain. So in this, we are going to uh, tokenize the text, divide the text into chunks, tokenize them, get the embeddings from OpenAI's API and store them in a database. So let's do some, some of the imports first. So from langchain dot vector stores dot chroma import chroma from langchain dot uh, embeddings dot open AI import open AI embeddings and one more import that we need is the character text splitter from langchain dot text splitter okay so now we have that now we stored all our data in a directory so we have the output directory and here you can see here is all our data so you can see like it crawled the website extracted the text and put them in a text file so you can you can also like do it in a much better manner where you like clean nicely so you will the better the data the better the results will be so here we also want to include from langchain dot uh, document loaders import directory loader and we will also import text loader so now we have the we have the imports and we can start creating a loader so loader will be directory loader and here we can write which directory is it so our directory is hf crawl slash output uh, and we can specify uh, what we want to what files we want to use so we can just do so it's going to search all the subdirectories and find only um, files that end with .txt and here we have loader class loader class is text loader so if you have a single file let's say you want to do question and answering on a single file then you can just use text loader and there are many examples uh, like that available on the internet these days so documents will be i will load all the documents and then i'm going to use a text splitter uh, here we are using character text splitter so we are splitting the text into different chunks and this is important because sometimes your chunk size is going to be huge and then you're going to get a error from OpenAI api that you cannot have so many uh, things in the so, so many tokens in the prompt and chunk size uh, so we have the chunk uh, size and we will also add a chunk overlap let's say we have overlapping text uh, so that we have overlapping text and here we can do text equal to text splitter dot split documents and here we have documents so once we have done this 
uh, we can now start chunking the text. So which embeddings we want to use? Here, it's very important to specify embeddings equal to OpenAI embeddings. And uh, then your vector database, vector DB is uh, chroma dot from documents. So if you look at long chain, lang chain, you can you can see like there are many different kinds of uh, DBs that you can use. Documents is text, and embedding is embeddings. And we add one more thing that you don't usually see in the online tutorials: a persist directory. Because at, at some point we want to just use it uh, without uh, calculating the embeddings all the time because that's costing us money and persist directory can be any directory i call it db and here you write vector db dot persist it makes sure that uh, everything is saved on disk so once you're done with this you can again uh, you can run this file so let's run it and yeah, you do need to install Langchain and other dependencies for all this to work. So I created, uh, I ran this file and I'm getting an error that I need to uh, add the environment variable OpenAI API key. So I'll just add the uh, API key. So I've added the API key as an environment variable and now I will run the index again. So it's creating chunk and now this step will take some time and uh, let's see how long it takes. Should not take much time because we don't have, we don't have a lot of documents. It seems like it took less than a couple of minutes and now it's done. So it has, uh, you can see here, it has created an index and everything is stored as parquet files. Okay, so now we are almost done. Uh, now we need to create a chatbot. So let's say, let's name it bot.py and we create a new file and uh, we import some more stuff. So now I'm doing it for you just by copy pasting. Um, and my persist directory was db. Now I will initialize the embeddings class, which is my OpenAI embeddings. And then I say, okay, my db is chroma db. So now this has been done in a little bit different way, not much different. And uh, since conversational bots uh, have memory, we will add a memory component. So conversational buffer memory. And now we have uh, almost everything. And now we are going to use conversational retrieval chain. So the only thing uh, that I change here is the temp, uh, I set the temperature to zero and max tokens to minus one. So let it create as many um, tokens as it wants and uh, as it can and memory is your conversational buffer memory so once you're done with this uh, it's it's now very easy to use this bot so i will just do qa and inside this uh, you must pass a dictionary so uh, okay here is a dictionary and one of the keys is um question so what is our question what is diffusers because uh, that's what we crawled and chat history so you can also use retrieval qa here uh, then you don't have the chat history but we do so we just add it here and let's put the result in something called res and let's print it okay 
let's see if this works. So I can just write Python what dot by. So I get the question, what is diffusers? And I have the answer. And if you see like the answer from OpenAI's ChatGPT, that is entirely different. So to make it look uh, good, what we can do is we can just use Gradio. And I Google Gradio create chatbot and it gives me a bunch of code. So I will just copy paste that code because they have this really cool example. So I just took the example and um, you see like the like what uh, what it was returning. So it's returning a chat history. You have the answer and you have the question. So in in the Gradio example, the chat history is created automatically. So you don't have to do anything there. So um, the bot message will be you run the QA and you pass the question, which is the last entry of your history and you pass the history itself. And you don't have to make any other changes in this uh, uh, example code from Gradio. And now what I can do is I can just start a, a server, a Gradio server. So let's see how that looks like. You can just go here and do Python bot.py. Okay. So now it's running. So let's take a look. So here is a good looking UI. Let's see if it works. I write hi. And yeah, okay, how can I help you? What? Our diffusers. So if you ask this question in chat GPT, it's going to give you an entirely different answer. Um, yeah, so it's taking answers from the data I have provided. That works. What is stable diffusion? And chat GPT doesn't know what stable diffusion is. Okay, yeah, sure. More or less. Okay, answer correct answer um who created it so now you can see it also um, looks at the context because uh, we are using we're using conversational retrieval chain so yeah that's that's it for today i hope you liked the video i'm just starting with langchain so if i may, made any mistake please let me know in the comments uh and do click on like button do subscribe and share the video with your friends see you